<laughs> Thank you, Laura and Tom. You have not only played a role in some of the most memorable films I've worked on, but you played a role, literally, in why I love this work and why I have the privilege of being among tonight's honorees, especially my longtime colleagues and friends, Kathy and Frank, and the people in this room. Thank you to my family, to the love of my life, my wife, Carol. <laughs> And, and Sue, and Doug, and Cindy, and Brian, Skyler, and Danny. Thank you, Academy Governors. I like, like that song in Hamilton. You were in the room where it happens, in the room where it happens. I find it hard to believe this is actually happening. This Oscar has been the most surprising and exciting award I can imagine. We've had three presidents of the Academy, Dick Kahn, Sid Gannis, and Cheryl Boone Isaacs from our own public relations branch. But this is the first time the Academy has considered one of us for this award. So that makes it the most humbling honor too. It is certainly makes me think of all the mentors and bosses who have inspired me along the way. The head of marketing at MGM, Howard Dietz, who uh, wrote lyrics for Broadway and film musicals on MGM Letterhead, a lyricist and a publicist, imagine that. <laughs> and Tex McCreary, he arranged to take over Madison Square Garden for a big rally with 20,000 people singing and shouting and screaming, I like Ike. We, he had America's most famous pilot of the time, a woman, Jackie Cochran, and she took the film of the event and flew it to Eisenhower in France to convince him to run for president. And in 1963, Along with others, I played a small but personal role in organizing the celebrity activists from Burt Lancaster, Sidney Poitier, Harry Belafonte, and dozens of others to go to the March on Washington. When it comes to politics, celebrity is a controversial word right now, but that's what we do. We, we use celebrity to fight for civil rights. And I'm... <laughs> I'm proud to see that passion still shared today. I learned a lot from Tex and Howard, particularly, that all of this is great but that it is also has to be about showing up for someone. Good, it has to be good, it has to have a purpose. And the person who most taught me about that more than anyone else is Steven Spielberg. Yeah, you bet. He's always treated me like a storyteller. And we are all storytellers in the public relations branch because the universe we build around, around our films and our TV isn't just about the story being told, but it's about making sure that the story lasts. Sure, it's about making sure that people come to the theater but it doesn't stop there. We have to ask, will they be moved by this? And sometimes, maybe, they look for something that they missed for the first time, something worth taking a second look at, and maybe learning from it. I like that the description of my work 
of our work is in this branch. Because when Stephen created the Shoah Foundation after Schindler's List, we were doing exactly that. We wanted to make sure the voices and the stories of countless survivors of the genocide and those who are no longer with us live on loudly and last. And it wasn't just, just in, the, in, in the months and years after the film's released for generations to come, to lead, to learn the horrors of history. And with the Starlight Children's Foundation, Stephen is a chairman emeritus. I'm proud to be on the board of directors, uh, something that creates moments of joy and comfort to hospitalize children. Because that, too, is helping children write their own story. This Oscar is such an incredible honor. <laughs> And I know a lot of people wrote in support of me. And I want to say how much that means to me, of course. I remember f feeling that way about a letter that uh, one other time in my life, that actually uh, it was a recommendation letter Tex had uh, given to me. He, he wrote, quote, Marvin, is married to a girl who is as sharp as he is and guarantees that you'll get two brains for the hire of one. <laughs> Isn't that terrific? He, he was right. Carol is still enjoying her own career while I have been enjoying mine. Of course, she always knew what my job entailed, but most friends and relations outside the industry really had no clue. So I never could explain the full range of what the job really entails. But at least now, they know I got an Oscar for it. <laughs> Thank you.